three. Sunday, some lingering morning flurries or snow showers. Partly cloudy skies. High 33. Here's our seven-day outlook. after the hour, almost right at the top of the hour for you right here on the Weather Channel, our round-the-clock coverage of Jonas. Blizzard coverage it has been for almost two days now, certainly a day and a half, uh, but then my clock is whacked because I've been on the air forever. But let's talk a little bit about what's going on outside right now. We're awaiting that snowfall total, the official snowfall total, the update. I've got people on computers like poised like this back at the Weather Channel. Mike Bettis has got people poised on computers like this at the Weather Channel. As soon as the National Weather Service throws out that brand new Central Park total, we will give it to you. Uh, the last one they had it at, uh, a little underdone, Darcy, what was it, 19.5? Am I right with that? 19.5 inches. Uh, snowiest all time at JFK. That's impossible. It seems impossible to believe that this storm managed to do that, but it did. Uh, this has been unbelievable along the coast, and then a narrow focus band of snow. So where you're getting it, you're still getting it. I'll tell you this, it's not blowing sideways like it was the last time we, you and I talked uh, live from Central Park. But let's walk you around just so you get a chance to see what's going on. This is really the first time, <coughs> excuse me, I think I'm starting to lose my voice, that we don't have crowds all around us. Take a look down. This is the entrance into Central Park from right here at Columbus Circle. That is one of the most beautiful walkways uh, covered in snow uh, with the street lights all the way into the park. The park fairly quiet right now. I love this. Some kids out there finished. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, somebody's carrying the sled for them. And they're in there like they're not done with the snow yet. They are totally not done yet. They're now scraping off, cleaning off the bench, making a snowman or whatever's happening back there. But the travel ban. This is being written in headlines as the snowstorm that shut down New York because all travel came to a stop at 2.30, ordered uh, by the governor, ordered by the mayor. So they will not only ticket, but they will arrest you if you're on the roads. And that's not just New York City. It's also for Long Island. Bridges and tunnels going into New Jersey shut down. All a rail above-ground rail service, and that included some above-ground subway rails, shut down. Uh, that LIRR. No go. Uh, any northbound traffic on the rails uh, into Connecticut, that was also an issue and shut down. Now, remember, we came on the air, if you've been watching us all day, all night, we came on the air, a guy came up out of the subway uh, and said that the subway was shut. That's not true. He just couldn't get to his line because not all lines are running. But I went down there to check, and we've got a subway right there. Uh, you could just, just see it past those two lights right there. Uh, went down and to find out if they were running, and I can definitely tell you that they are running through there. They're just not running on your uh, your regular weekend schedule. They're running, but they're running light. Mike Bettis, let's talk a little bit about what's changed since when I talked last hour, my friend. Um, I will tell you this. The snow isn't blowing sideways, but it's still coming down really good clip yep. and if you set anything out it gets covered pretty quickly so what's the health what's going on here what are you seeing with that snow band and the winds well i think that may be the the, the transition now sam because we've been gusting 30 35 miles an hour for the for most of the day really if we see that low begin to pull away a little bit our pressure gradient begins to loosen a little bit here so we'll back off on the winds yeah. just a little bit the snowfall rates there as you mentioned though haven't really decreased all that much you were mentioning this all-time record sam and i'm i'm really starting to I'm really starting to think that this may be broken with this. Let me show you this. You go back to 2006. Yeah, yeah. This is our all-time record, that February snowstorm. Yeah. So many of us remember 26.9 inches. Yeah. Our latest total from yesterday and today for Central Park is 19.5. But as Sam mentioned, any second now, we're waiting for an update. We think we're going to add several inches to that 19.5. And But I, I think about it this way, too, Sam. I look at this number five all-time snowstorm for, for New York, 20.2 inches in 1996. What that means is... And we're definitely going over that. I can promise you we're going over that. It means that anyone that's a yeah, uh, New York true. City resident that's under 20 yeah. years old, you've never seen a storm like this before. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's really nuts when you think about it. And I think it may come down to, you know, how much we get after this heavy band leaves you, Sam. I think it stays with you for about another hour and a half or so. We squeeze another two or three inches out of this band. 
I think we're in business. I think we may go over it. So there's a look at Central Park, 19.3 just today. That's an all-time single-day record for Central Park at 19.3. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, Sam. That that number came out about 4:30. I wouldn't be surprised if we added another four or five inches to that number with this newest update that'll come out that'll come out shortly. Yeah, when you look at the measurements, when you see that we're already above, you know, 23, almost two feet of LaGuardia, 20, more than two feet of JFK. Newark, Darcy, what was Newark? I think Newark was about at 20 inches or something, right? I can't remember where Newark was, Mike, but if, if, I, but, but if you fill that round in, uh, we should be somewhere right in there. You know, you, I, I heard you talking earlier today, calling for a 20 inch snowfall. Uh, I, I agreed with you immediately. I knew we were gonna get at least 20 in here and I, and I think we're gonna get a, a little bit more. Um, so we're just, we're just waiting, but I gotta tell you, uh, as soon as they get it out and we can tell people, we will celebrate it with you because if you're gonna go through this, if you're gonna shut down traffic, if you're gonna shut down flights, if you're gonna stand out in the snow for hours on end, you might as well get the record, Mike Bennett. I'm with you. Let's. Let, I mean, seriously, we're on pins I hear and Jen needles. Back there too. Sam, just just like you, like yeah. everyone here in the lab has got has got their computers ready, and as soon as that number comes in, we're gonna give it to you because we're all anticipating being very very close to the all time record in New York. And I mean, how many of us would have thought this would happen? I want to show you real quick um, what the <laughs> forecast is. It was the animated for you, as you mentioned, maybe another hour and a half for Sam and that really heavy snow band, then it begins to taper off overnight tonight. But um, if I were a betting man, Sam, and I am, I, I think we're going to break it. Who's, I think we're going to break it. So so is Jen saying that we're not? Because I heard you guys wagering a little bit. Who's got the, what's the over uh, under here? I think, she's, I think she's with, I think we're all in. Yes. I think we are all in. Yes, we're all in. We want yeah. that record. And I got to tell go you. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, Jen, I agree with you. And based on what we've been seeing, if, if you just add up the hourly snowfall rates, it's a done deal. Yeah, I uh, to totally agree, Sam. I love your pictures, man. They are just phenomenal. Uh, if you're in Central Park, I would say this. Go hang out with Sam tonight at Central Park because you may be witnessing history. A little bit more on Winter Storm Jones and those new, uh, new York numbers, hopefully soon. We'll be right back. Lowe's presents.